Okay, welcome to this video. <laughs> Playing one trick pony. I recently lost against this guy. I mean, recently means um, in this session even with a kind of helpmate. <laughs> so well, let's see what uh, what happens here. In um, the other game, I think we had um, had a Chigorin where he played some position positionally very suspect moves. But um, it didn't matter because, um, well, I was running into the self-mate, as mentioned. Okay, we transposed into something that quite often can arise out of the, the Nimzo. This typical isolated pawn position. The early knight c6 is a bit, is a bit uncommon. quite strange but um, well after the first game I, I know to expect some some weird moves now he's always in the spin and, uh, this is quite quite annoying for um, for black usually you just return here or you have a position where you have a knight on d7 so that you can play queen c7 comfortably. But here it's not clear how he ever gets rid of the pin. I mean g5 is just insane. Okay, so this is the, the way he's trying to get out of the pin. Okay, let's let's take. And um, yeah, well how to how to proceed now? Queen Queen d2 to f4 is one idea. Or bishop e4, but I really don't want to exchange material. The bishop also controls f5 and g6, so limits the knight. Okay, let's go here. Bishop uh, f3, I take h6, intermediate move. Threatening the mate on h7. So he needs to react first. Yeah, with a move like that. And now I thought queen f4, queen f4, g4, h5. This kind of route. Yeah. Okay, I mean, this um, looks strange a bit for black, but it seems um, it seems still, still playable. Especially um, if you manage to get rid of more pieces. Let's say he takes on f3 and plays knight g6. This is not. No, he doesn't do that. It's, it's not brilliant, but playable. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oops. Knight. The knight is not badly placed on e5 for sure. Of course, one, rook e3, g3 now is a threat. He probably needs to react. Hmm, yes, one of the possible reactions. Hmm. Yeah, f3 is not a move I want to play. How to proceed? Maybe c4, d5. Yeah, this is a good idea. Really, if I manage c4 and d5, this would be would be nice. And there's always rook e3 to g3. Let's let's prepare that. Yeah, this this. Yeah, okay. Let's take. It's a weak, a weak pawn on uh, on e6, or yeah, well, king takes looks insane. <laughs> okay, well now, yeah, well g5. I should probably make sure that g5 is not so easily playable. Yeah, I don't want to exchange queens. That's that's that much is clear. 
c4 and d5 um, break open the position with d5 d5 takes rook e1 intending rook e7 yeah come on this must be right if this is not right then <laughs> not much i can do about it rook e7 the idea and i've got h5 breaking up the whole the whole position see that move at all. Ah, wow. Rook e7. He can take with the queen, unfortunately. Yeah, rook e8 was a good defensive move. Um, okay, I will have this threat and I have h5. Yeah, come on, h5. trying to 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 bust up his king's position this bishop is also ready to join on d3 only slightly reduced material can be check can be a problem Look, uh, queen f4 queen e3 hmm. not sure but this looks good i mean f5 is under heavy pressure now Check. Hmm. C5 and bishop c4. Hmm. Yeah, well, bishop d3 would be nice, but it's mate here. Rook f6, there's queen g5. still remarkably resilient this position at least I don't see anything which uh, is probably due to well uh, it's it's probably just my problem <laughs> I just don't see the right the right continuation yeah d3 is a serious counterplay Hmm. What about f3 and bishop d3? He can play d3 though. But take rook takes rook f8. There's no win. Remarkably. I don't see a move. What the heck? Unbelievable. It's probably just good for white. But I don't see it. Yeah. Queen g5. What? What else? Check. Yeah, this is not uh, not great at all. I, I didn't see some. I didn't see anything great. At least he's taking some time. Check. Time warning. Check. I just what Check. the heck? <laughs> I just I just thought I can take the pawn. Unbelievable! It's Check. again this kind of helpmate game, like just like the first one where he's playing bad moves Check. over and over, and I'm running into a helpmate basically. Check. 
Yeah, we'll resign. White resigns. Yeah, well, I'm just an idiot. What can you say? I just forgot that this is this is protected. But uh, I, I, that I, what the heck? There must be something in this position. His king is wide open. Yeah, c5 is the winner. Yeah, but I didn't... I, I, w I was simply failing to see a move here. Queen c4 is winning. Check. Check. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's not easy. Not easy at all. Check. Yeah, well, you need to see all this kind of stuff you need to see. Check. And even here it looks slightly tricky, but I have, I have, oops, nope. I have had this move. Yeah, and after that, I mean, Check. I, I even Check. had a good end game, yeah. Check. I don't know what was <laughs> what I was thinking when I took uh, when I took there. Check. I really forgot that he has protected it. Just uh, idiotic. I can I can just play any move and I'm just a born up for not uh, for not much. And uh, well, the whole position was uh, they're not winning. This is heartbreaking. I mean, this is just just so bad. Bishop d3 is also better what I, than what I played. It's plus three. Taking on f5, yeah, it's just it's just better. Check. This is not not uh, not bad, but check. It's just not the the best possible way to play. I was also thinking about this move, but I wasn't sure if I can take here. I didn't see a win here, but there's queen d8 check. winning. Oh man, oh man, I needed to play like 10 completely idiotic moves to lose the game, but I managed. Thanks for watching.